Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you're warmly welcome. And thank you so much for joining me today as I make the easiest egg stew that you have ever had. Come along and let's get started. The exact measurements are in the description box below. And I'm just getting started by chopping up my vegetables and then we'll get started with the stew. For the tomatoes, I take out a lot of the seeds just to reduce the water content to allow the stew to cook faster. And you can cut the tomatoes into any shape or size that you'd like. It's just a personal preference. And for today, I'm using smoked mackerel or salmon. And for that, I just take off the skin and I get rid of all the fins and the bones. And I'm just left with the fish itself to use. Of course, corned beef is amazing with egg stew as well. But this is what I had on hand today. So that's why I'm using this. So I'm just breaking it into chunks. I'm gonna make some larger than others just to keep my stew nice and chunky. Alright, next up I'm going to blend my habanero peppers, my ginger, garlic, and onions with a little bit of water. And I'm going to blend it into a smooth paste and I'm going to be using that in my stew as well. Alright, so now that all the prep is done, let's get started with our stew. I just went in with a bit of vegetable oil and I'm going to toss in most of my sliced onions. I am leaving a tiny bit for the end because I do like the crunch of onions. So I'll be using that towards the end of the stew. I'm starting my stew on a medium to low heat just to make sure that the onions don't burn and also that way it allows the onions to release its natural sweetness as well. Next up I'm going in with about a tablespoon of tomato paste and I mixed it with a little bit of water just to loosen it up a bit. After about a minute of the onions and tomato paste cooking together, I'm going to go ahead and add our blended pepper, ginger, onion, all that mix um, into the stew. And I'm going to allow that to cook for another five minutes. Okay. 
and of course you can cover it briefly to allow it to cook faster and also to avoid all the splatter. All right, next up, I'm just adding my tomatoes and I'm going to give it a quick stir and allow that to cook for a few minutes as well. Once the stew starts to cook down, I'm going in with about half a tablet of seasoning. For this, I'm using Maggie shrimp and a little bit of salt as well. And next up is the most important ingredient in our egg stew, of course, our eggs. And what I do is I crack it into a bowl separately and then I just use a fork to break it up just a little bit because I do like it really chunky and I like to taste the difference between the yolk and the white. So I just break it up really lightly. And once the eggs go in, I'm going to lower my heat I'm going to cook this part of the stew on very low heat and I'm going to cover it for a few minutes just when it starts to bubble like you see on the screen right now. And because I really like my eggs to be curdled and chunky, go ahead and stir it the way that I am. So I'm just pulling it from one end of the pot towards the middle of it just to make sure that I don't break up the eggs too much and as you can tell my eggs are still runny so I'm going to allow it to continue cooking for a few more minutes. Our stew is looking amazing and I'm going in with our smoked mackerel or salmon and like I mentioned earlier you could use corned beef as well but today changing it up a little bit and using the smoked mackerel. And after simmering for a few minutes, our stew is almost ready. Just to add a bit of freshness, I'm going in with my leftover onions as well as my green and yellow bell peppers just to add a little bit of crunch as well. And as soon as the veggies go in, I am going to turn the heat off and just allow the residual heat from the stew itself to finish cooking the vegetables and for a little bit of garnish I'm just chopping up a bit of fresh basil just to add on if you have parsley spring onions it is just a personal preference and my loves our egg stew is ready to be served it looks amazing and it smells even better. I cannot wait for you to try it. And of course, if you liked this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up 
and if you have not already done so, remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload more amazing videos. And thank you so much for coming along with me on this delicious journey.